Hi everyone, today I'm going to cover the topics Who's a data engineer? What are the roles of data engineer? What skills are needed to be a data engineer? Why does this role is a must? I'm going to cover these four topics. Firstly, who's a data engineer? Data engineer is like a builder for data systems. He makes sure the company collects the data, stores the data, clean the data, and use the data properly. Without data engineers, the data would be very messy and difficult to use. Now let's talk about the main responsibilities of data engineer. The first one is creating pipelines. What are these pipelines? These pipelines are basically used to move data from one place to another place. So these pipelines take raw data, clean it and store them in a good format which is used at the next level which is either used by data analysts, data scientists for, for their analysis purposes. And data engineers are also responsible for setting up the infrastructure. They choose where to store the data, either to store data in a database or a data warehouse. When do they store the data in databases? When the data has to be updated, when the data has to be inserted, updated on a regular basis, then they move the data to they store the data in the databases. When, they, when do they store in the data warehouses? They store in the data warehouses uh, when the data has to be used for big data analysis. And the next responsibility is they ensure the quality of the data. Because they move the data from one place to another place, they just don't move the data randomly. They make sure the data is good. They make sure the data is in the right format. And if there are errors in loading the data, they correct the errors. And if, there, if there's any missing data, they try to fill in that missing data with some useful information for the people, for the people who use the data next so they can easily understand what that data is what that missing data is all about and the next responsibility is they make sure the systems are fast and ready to use because data engineers deal with data and the data keeps growing growing data implies system should handle more data and the performance also has to be improved the data engineers have to make sure that the systems handle more and more data as the data keeps coming more and also this should not be slowing down things so data the data engineers need to make sure of that and to do this process data engineers also make sure they can do parallel processing of certain things to manage this big data and the next responsibility of data engineering of data engineer is to keep data safe and private because data engineers move the data across the systems their main responsibility is also about keeping the data safe that means they do the encryption they use the passwords they use they use some security rules all of these to make sure the data is safe and private and is only visible to the appropriate people. And now the skills needed for data engineers. Main skills needed for data engineers are Python and SQL. There could be some more like Java uh, needed, but not much. You majorly need Python and SQL and you can manage with these two. And in some other video, I'll also tell you how much of Python is needed for data engineers what python is needed for data engineers every job every job role requires different set of skills in python data analysts need different set of python skills data engineers need different set of python skills data scientists need different set of python skills so in the next video or coming videos in future i'll tell you which python skills are needed for data engineering and uh, data engineers also need to work with other teams like data analysts, data scientists and security teams. Data analysts because their reports are based on what data data engineers provide. Data scientists because their analysis, their big data analysis is also dependent on the data that is provided by data engineers and security teams because Data engineers deal with a lot of security stuff like they 
user passwords encryption all these they have to uh, communicate with the security teams to make sure everything is safe and secure and finally why the data engineer role matters everything in the company is based on the data data engineering job is a must if a company uses reports to see how the company is performing without data engineers they can there there are no reports so data engineer is a must there and if there are data scientists they need they need data to analyze uh, the big data if there is no data there are no data scientists as well and so data engineering role is a must if your company is thinking about machine learning without data they cannot do anything how do we get the data again data engineers help you with the data help you get the data so data engineering role is a must so this is about the roles of data engineer on a higher level so in the next video i'll talk about a different topic in the certification path and finally i told you that i'll make a video at least a short video every day to talk about what i learned on that day but practically it's not possible because for me to go to office i go to office four days a week going to office and then coming back i do the house chores and i do some cooking cleaning feeding my daughter help her doing her homeworks all that i'm not finding time at all to do even a short video so maybe one or two videos a week but yeah i'll try to cover whatever i learned in 2 3 days in in one video this uh, so today whatever i cover today is of course not a 2 3 day worth of learning but then we are going to india there there's a lot of shopping packing stuff going on so i didn't find time i'll i'll try to cover more topics in in the coming videos and last but not the least i wanted to bring this topic someone commented that um, why am i talking so low and i'm getting a lot of comments that use a mic your voice is low and all that um this is how i am i usually talk in a very low voice uh, i totally agree with all of you i definitely need a mic um once i come back from india i'll figure that out to get a new mic um but yeah at least in this video i'll try to increase the volume in the editing part